What's up, what's up world? Dominic D. Hargrove here, Slight Edge Performance Program. If you see I'm sweating a lot, I just finished working out. Got it in for the day, baby. This video is two things about the subconscious mind and the journey of believing. The journey of believing. So the first two things we're gonna talk about is the subconscious mind. Like what is it? What does it mean? How is it different from the conscious mind? What do you mean I can program my subconscious mind? What do you mean by that I can, books like cyber, Psycho Cybernetics, even books like Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, books by Master Key to Riches by Napoleon Hill, uh, great books by great philosophers and great psychologists and all of that when it comes to the mind and the self image have told us about the subconscious mind. And what about the, the journey of believing? We're gonna talk about the journey of believing and how I, how I kind of split those two words, believing. So believing, to believe, to uh, trust, to hope, to feel like something is true, um, to believe and to believe. Like when you go from point A to point B, when you go from four years old to eight years old, when you go from ninth grade to 12th grade, it's a B, you be one person, you be one state, you be one character, and then through time, through a process of time and development, you become, you become someone else, you become new, right? You're still that same person at the core, but you transform physically, mentally, spiritually, financially. So, let's talk about the subconscious mind. You know, it, it's still, like right now, I'm in my conscious state, right? We're in, we're talking gamma, we're talking, well right now we're in the beta alpha state. My heart rate is coming down from doing those pull-ups and sit-ups. So right now we're in a, a beta alpha state. Relax, cool, I'm talking to you. And so, but when we're asleep, when we're in our deep sleep realm, that's called delta. You know, when you're nodding off thinking, all right, it's time to cut off the TV, it's time to head to bed. Or you might be driving and you might be like, all right, you may have been traveling a long way. You may decide to, um, Pull the car to the side of the road and and, and uh, get some rest right there, right? That's the theta going into delta, deep sleep phase. So you can program your subconscious mind. How? What you read, who you listen to, who you associate with. What are you reading? Like, what are you intentionally, consciously uploading into your brain? downloading into your conscious to your subconscious mind through your conscious we through your consciousness we all get 24 hours in a day who's re, what are you reading what are you listening to who are you listening to you're always inputting and programming your mind i look at the subconscious mind like a woman like my woman like my wife actually and so if i marry if i'm married to my mind I don't want just any thoughts, any nasty thoughts, or you know, when I say nasty, like thoughts against you, any negative thoughts. You don't want these thoughts, uh, unjust thoughts. You don't want these things to come into your sacred space. You know, especially when it's gonna produce after the thought or the seed that it is, after that energy that it is. So you wanna guard your subconscious mind as if you were guarding your own wife your own uh, consort, your own woman. You wanna protect your subconscious mind. Like I said, right now we're in the conscious. We're, we're aware, right? I can, I can touch the screen. You get what I'm saying? However, the subconscious mind is more of the hidden aspect of your consciousness. The subconscious mind is like the woman who carries the, the male seed you know, the seed of the man, the sperm of the man for nine months. And then after that hidden process, then gives birth to that living soul, to that man, to that human. So treat your mind, your subconscious mind, you know, be intentional, be conscious and be aware about what you're inputting into your computer. Brain software. Because as a man thinketh, so is he. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Uh, you know, call those things that be not as though they were. So 
be intentional be aware and be conscious about your thoughts and what you're programming your mind now the journey of believing we're be you know when you say I, i'm believing to lose 30 pounds and get in shape when you say i'm believing to grow my business grow my business and to become more profitable and prosperous when you say you believe that there's some action that you're going to take that proves that you believe what you're saying so what you're saying you, you have faith you have a vision you can see it what's invisible what what's not there in the physical yet you can see it and so you're going to start taking some actions back in 2010 i had an nfl pro day i played college football at virginia state university um had an awesome opportunity um to get trained at the elite athletic level by coach shane sykes down in, up in richmond virginia awesome opportunity learning experience like none other like none other it led to my you know career in uh, physical development training athletic training personal training um and so the, i had to three months we took three months to train for that nfl pro day and i learned my 40 yard dash high jump you know vertical uh, shuttle run bench press so many different nooks and crannies to becoming an elite athlete you know only one percent of student athletes become pro athletes so i was bl very blessed and fortunate to have the opportunity i have a couple of friends who even went to the nfl got a great friend mark parson who's a three-year nfl veteran and i played high school football with him anyway we went on a journey of believing remember we talked about when you believe you be one person you leave you go on a journey you go on an adventure you go on a quest and you become someone else that's the journey that's the the adventure that's the quest it's an opportunity and it's within it's happening within it's a within transformation rewind this video i hope it helps you we're talking about two things about the power of the subconscious mind and the journey of believing and that is you can program your subconscious mind with intentional conscious awareness and set a goal success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal set that goal create that vision and take action and in leaving one state saying i don't want to uh be here anymore and deciding to go forward deciding to go upward you're believing you're be leaving you're being one person you're leaving that you're taking action and you're becoming your higher self your greater self hopes this helps you dominic d hargrove's slight edge performance program peace